Are the indefinite articles a, and, and, used correctly in these sentences? A European worker in a yellow uniform took a walk around a university campus after his shift. I'd like to provide an update on her. She's grown up to become an FBI agent, and she considers it an honor. A European worker in a yellow uniform took a walk around a university campus after his shift. I'd like to provide an update on her. She's grown up to become an FBI agent, and she considers it an honor. A and an are indefinite articles in English. They are used before nouns when the specific identity of the noun is not known to the reader or listener. Here's when you should use each. 1. Use a before words that begin with a consonant sound, even if the word is spelled with a vowel. For example, a cat, a dog, a car, a history, a house, a walk, a work, a woman, a yacht, a year, a yellow cup, a young man a European, a uniform, a university, a use, a utility. 2. Use and before words that begin with a vowel sound, even if the word is spelled with a consonant. For example, an apple, an eagle, an ear, an egg, an eye, an idea, an image, an orange, an umbrella, an air, an hour, an honest mistake, an honor, an FBI agent. Note that it's based on the sound, not necessarily the letter itself. This is why we say, an hour, not, a hour, because, hour, begins with a vowel sound even though, h, is a consonant. Similarly, we say, a university, not, an university, because, university is pronounced with a leading consonant sound. In English, the vowel letters are, a, e, i, o, u. Sometimes, y, can also act as a vowel depending on its position and usage in a word. For instance, y, is a vowel in, cry, but it's a consonant in, yes. Therefore, the indefinite articles, a, and, and, are used correctly in these sentences. A European worker in a yellow uniform took a walk around a university campus after his shift. I'd like to provide an update on her. She's grown up to become an FBI agent, and she considers it an honor. Thanks for watching.